Welcome to Durbania, I'm Durbin, and this is my spoiler-free review of Gods of Egypt in 90 seconds or less. I really did want this to be a good movie. Starting right now. There were a precious few things that I actually really liked about this movie, and one of the things I ended up liking was the visual effects. I say ended up liking because at first I didn't like how cartoony everything looked. The first couple trailers I saw, I was like, this looks like a giant cartoon movie or something, I don't know. But after a while you're watching it, you just start to buy into it, and really it started to look really good. I liked the way they did Egypt, lush and beautiful and all that stuff, I don't know. So there's a lot of visuals in this movie that were really good. Here's what I didn't like about the movie. No chemistry at all. The driving force of this movie was the love between Beck and the girl, whose name I absolutely cannot remember, but their love story was kind of supposed to be the, the driving force behind this movie, and there was no chemistry, and, and their lines with each other were just so cheesy. Not that, oh, so cute cheesy. No, like, really? Whatever. So, you know, then you had Horace, you know, played by Jamie Lannister from Game of Thrones. So, you know, missing an eye here, missing a hand there. You're thinking this is going to be awesome. But he just seemed to talk like this throughout the entire movie. And I just don't get it. And so then you have to have this friendship between Beck and Horace. And I just felt like, again, no chemistry. And then they put together this little troop. And again, no chemistry. And then even between Jar Butler, the bad guy, and the fight at the end, again, no chemistry. Gerard Butler was good, and so was Jeffrey Rush, who played Raw in this movie. So, like, there were some good elements to it, but it just, I don't know. It drove me crazy. There was no chemistry. Okay, that's it. End of the 90 seconds. In the end, I'm going to give this movie two out of five stars because I really tried to enjoy it. I just couldn't really enjoy it. I wanted to. It looked cool, and it had great potential, and the story was interesting, but there was just so no chemistry, and I couldn't tell, is it the acting, or is it the writing, or is it both? What is going on here? But it, to me, this movie just fell flat. I wouldn't buy it on Blu-ray, and I have no desire to see it again. If you saw Gods of Egypt, what were your thoughts on it? Be sure to let me know in the comments. Also, make sure to subscribe, and hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Durbin. Thanks for checking out Durbania.